Okay, welcome to my second video tutorial. Today we're gonna create a simple basketball game where you can shoot the ball into this basket if you're good. And then at the end, it will count how many times you've scored. Well, no time for that now. So, create a fresh new scene here and um, Get yourself a ball. Name it ball here, instance name. Doesn't need to have a linkage, but name it ball. Now, also create a basket to score in. Here, basket. This time, in a linkage here, call it basket. Okay, well. Now, go to your first frame. First type is tap, so it doesn't loop all the time. Okay. Then we want to place the basket on stage. Do attach movie. Basket. And place it around to death. And then we want to place it on the side of the stage here. Yeah. X state it with minus 50 and place on a random I Y. So what we have now is this. It places it randomly on the screen. Then go to your next thing and create a variable X speed equals zero, Y speed equals zero. Yeah and create gravity equals zero dot six. Okay. Oh yeah, and create the boolean, which determines if the ball is clicked or not. Okay, done that. Then we'll go to the first function. Ball dot on mouse down equals function. Okay. Here we'll test if the ball is clicked, so we can shoot later. So if this dot Hit test. This is the ball. X mouse, Y mouse. If it hits the mouse coordinates, create an empty movie clip. Yeah, call it a cell movie selection movie. Give the depth of 10. Okay, then. Save the mouse coordinates in a variable. Okay, and then if it's clicked, set the variable click the boolean to true, of course, and make it stop moving so you can actually throw the ball to the basket. Okay, well, if that's done, go to the next function. On mouse move is equals function okay well so if our ball is clicked and you move the ball you move the mouse <coughs> then we want the to draw a line so you can see where you throw the ball to so first set it again to zero to be sure it's and then save the X and Y mouse positions again at that certain moment so do this, do that. <coughs> okay. And clear those cell move if you already moved your mouse before. Then we want to draw a line. If you want to draw a line, you first gotta set a style for the <coughs> line to draw. Set line style. We want to give it a, a thickness of two. Uh, its color is gonna be somewhere around I don't know. Yeah, purple, I think that's purple. Give an alpha of 60. Okay. Then, we want to draw the line between the points. So, some of the move to our starting point, which we put in a variable before. And then draw a line to, sorry, <laughs> should be movie. Line to, our pulse x, pulse y. 
See, so what we now got, command enter. Well, it doesn't move yet, but you can draw a line. See? Draw, 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 draw. So, next thing we're gonna do is our next function is on mouse up equals function. So if our mouse is up and if we've clicked our ball, so not at any time, just when we click the ball, if clicked is true, set a direction. Direction to the x is the root dot x mouse. Direction to the y is root dot y mouse. Well, that's simple. Okay, and then we gotta call a function, which we're gonna create later. Shoot ball. Well, don't worry about that. We're gonna create it later. Clear the cell movie. So we don't see a line anymore when it's already uh, thrown the ball. It's clicked to false because we haven't clicked or thrown throwing it anymore. And also remove move clip cell movie just to be sure. Let's create it before when you click the ball. Okay. Well, when we've done that, you can do this, and it goes away when you release it. Well, now. Last thing you want to do is create the shoot ball function. Function shoot ball. It's gonna be a tough one. It's shoot ball. Shoot ball. We want to <coughs> use uh, uh, trigonometry. It's something uh, with math to shoot the ball. First, create fire x. It's direction x minus root dot ball dot x. So we know the one side of the triangle for your y is direction y minus root dot ball dot y. We know the <coughs> other side of the tri triangle and we determine the phi power. So <coughs> if that distance is uh, greater, you shoot harder. That's simple. So we're going to use uh, Pythagorean theorem. Simple. Phi x times phi x square plus fire y times fire y close it I think you're good now, yes then we do the exact same thing again for mouse x for the actual trigonometry and mouse y is going to be a little bit different because it's got to be turned over y times minus 1 okay now we gotta determine the angle that's with a ten it's a tangent that's one mouse y divided by mouse x divided by math dot p divided by 180 this is just to convert radians to degrees because we measure with the degrees flash with radians now we got something for security. Yeah, well, security. To make sure it doesn't use the uh, wrong angle. Here. So if mouse x is. Wait a second, I did something wrong. Yeah, here. So if mouse x is less than 0, plus 180. If it, mouse x is more than 0, and mouse I, y is less, plus 360. So we're good now. So we now need to do. We need to create um, something that determines the firepower in every direction you shoot the ball. That's uh, quite simple. There's a lot of typing, so I just kind of copy paste it for myself. Okay. This part here. To so glue that, just when the angle is less than, yeah, well, 0 to 90, make it shoot in the right up direction here to the left up direction right down left down so you shoot in the right direction now the last thing we want to do is create an on enter frame function for the ball so ball dot on enter frame equals function give yourself some space this is a nasty one okay if you haven't clicked the ball so it isn't clicked Make sure the ball moves by its gravity. So y speed plus its gravity. Okay. Well, of course, i speed is nothing because we first need to move it. 
So say this dot x plus is x speed. This dot y plus is y speed. So now it moves by gravity. To glue that, it's yeah, it's false, but okay. Now what we want to do is um, make it move in the well. When we click it, it moves in the right direction, but we can't click it if it just falls through the floor. So we need to stop it when it hits the floor. Okay, so to take a look where the screen ends, and we're gonna paste this. So, wait a second. Yeah, if it's more than a stage width or less than zero, which is the left border of the stage, it just jumps back. And the same with the Y, okay? This at Y is more than a stage height or it's less than minus 100. Yeah, so it's most limited. So if you now fall down, jumps and click on it, draw a line and it shoots away. Well but we can't of course we can't score if it doesn't know the basket as exists. So what we first need to do is make it hit the basket. You could just say hit test, but that's not that's not right because then you should could uh, could score by throwing the ball from under the basket. So that's not right. So we need to do this. Okay, let's take a look. Okay, first just type following sentence. If it hits the basket at a y and it hits a basket by x, y, x here. Just first close them both. Yeah. If it hits it by the basket at y plus basket at height. If I put two, it hits the, the basket. We need to uh, determine what our y speed is. So if y speed is more than zero, so the ball comes from up to so the right direction, we need to reset it to the middle of the stage. Take the width by two, so y equals stage dot height divided by two. Yes. Okay, and then we need to move the basket to a random position again so math dot random times stage dot height so the height of the stage one is hundred and fifty so it doesn't go uh, over or under the stage height plus fifty okay well and then um, that's only the y position so we need to let the, the x position but for now we could do it randomly so it goes to the right or the left of the stage but here we're just gonna stay uh, stage dot uh, width minus basket dot width divided by two. Oh, sorry, that should be the other direction. Okay, that's the x pass. And uh, we need to set the basket dot x to the x pass. Yeah, that way. And uh, then it should work. Console. Okay, shoot the ball. Oh, sorry. Over there. <laughs> yeah, you have caught. Okay, that was uh, all for now. Maybe some more next time, but I'm gonna stop now. See you soon.